So here's some keys to being humble and confident. So number one, we must humble ourselves and become trust like trusting children. Children trust their parents. Children who have good parents trust their parents. Don't try to compare it to your parents. Maybe your parents weren't trustworthy. But I just want you to think of a child that's loved by a good mommy and a good daddy. They constantly trust their parents. Because yes. their parents don't fail. Well, you have a heavenly father that's never failed once and never will and loves you and created you and knew you before you were you. He knows everything about you that there is to know. So that's number one. Number two, we must accept how God wants to move in the earth. Revival! Yes. Revival! Okay? This is how he wants to move in the earth today. He wants his children rise up, yep. wake up, stand up, right. show up, I'm giving you my power and my anointing so you can be effective in the area I've called you to be effective in. I want you to show my goodness wherever you go. I want you to be a walking, living, breathing billboard of my love, my power, and my kingdom. And I want demons to see you shining brightly. And I want them to flee. Number three, we must renounce... Renounce means, I know not claim it is my own, self-righteousness and pride. Self-righteousness is, well, the move of God should be like this. Women shouldn't preach. God couldn't do it through those two. God couldn't do it through that person. God's not going to do it that way. I've studied all the old revivals. Keyword. Old. <laughs> How many times does God say, I'm doing a new thing? That's yeah. I'm doing a new thing. And those who are in the spirit recognize the new thing. What will you, what will you notice? Humility, love, peace, signs, wonders, miracles, deliverance. You will know by the fruit. Number four, we must not speak against God's leadership. I know things about Christian church leaders that would make your head spin. God has not given me a green light to speak one word about it or their names. I'm talking about Satanists posing in the church. Literally. I'm not just saying, well, they kind of act like I said. No, I, I know their deeds. But the Lord says, Shh, not a word yet. He says, it will be exposed. But right now, that's not your forte. The Lord says, I don't want you to name names. He is not giving me any permission to name people's names. And there's going to be there's going to be some things. You're going to see some people come down who would not humble themselves before God. You're going to see some people who you thought were like super spiritual. And you're going to find out they've been doing things in the background. They could have gotten delivered, but they wouldn't. So now... You have to be very aware yeah. in the spirit mm -hmm. of when God wants you to speak and when he wants you to be quiet. So don't. Don't do it. Miriam and Aaron did. No. Don't. Mm -hmm. Just don't. Even if it's somebody that you know is, is not doing the will of God. Right. Just pray for them. Amen. Pray for them. Yes. And love them. But go on and do what God's called you to do. And then number five, we must live lives of gratefulness and thanksgiving. When we live with gratefulness and thanksgiving, we're constantly feasting on the good things of God. We're always reminding ourselves of how good he is, of how wonderful he is to us. We're grateful for the little thing. We're rejoicing over every little thing that he gives us. And then we have hearts of continual praise and continual joy and continual peace. And that gives us continual strength. So we have energy. And so this is my last slide. The humble in heart. They're childlike. They're surrendered to God. They're growing in faith and trust. And they're willing to be transparent and naked before God.